friends, I Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Biyani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. The topic which we are going to discuss today is Association of Attributes. Now, what are attributes? There are two types of attributes, that is one which shows the presence of an particular concept and the other one which shows the absence. Now, A and B can be taken to show presence of any attribute. For example, we can take an attribute as literacy level or a hard worker an intelligent person In the similar manner, if we want to show the negativity or the absence of an attribute, we will indicate the same by for A, the negativity is shown by alpha and for B, the negativity or absence is shown by beta. So, these are the symbols A and B are used to show the presence of an attribute and in the reverse alpha and beta or if there is a third attribute C, so you can use gamma to show C is used to show the presence of an attribute and gamma is used to show the absence of an attribute. Now moving forward, we will now discuss how to frame a 9 square table. So, a 9 square table in order to make a 9 square table, I am creating 9 blocks. Here I am writing B, here it is A, B absence is shown by beta, A absence is shown by alpha. Now starting with this, we are going to multiply this vertically, A into B, alpha B, here a beta, here alpha beta. Now, when we are multiplying this, we will say the presence of an attribute and absence of an attribute get cancelled. So, in return where it gets b. Here in similar manner, a presence, alpha absence, here beta beta, it is arrived beta. Now, in the similar manner, a a, these get cancelled. So, here it is arrived a and here it is alpha and total is n. So, this is our 9 square table which shows the presence of both the attributes here absence of first attribute and presence of second attribute here presence of first absence of second here absence of both the attributes here total of A attribute absence of uh, A attribute presence of B attribute and absence of B attribute and here it is total n. Now, on the basis of this particular 9 square table, let us have discuss one more question related to this table. Now, this is a question based on 9 square table, we'll just have a look at the question. Arrange the following data in a 9 square table and find the unknown class frequencies, intelligent father with intelligent sons. These attributes shows the presence of an attribute that is intelligent father, intelligent son. Now, dull father with intelligent sons, intelligent father with dull sons and dull father with dull son. Now, I am taking the attribute A as intelligent father in the same manner dull father as it shows the absence of, of an attribute. So, alpha is dull father. B is we shows intelligent sons. In the same manner, beta shows the ap opposite of intelligent son is dull sons. Now, we will start making the abbreviations in the sense intelligent father is A and intelligent son is B. So, here a b is equals to 248. Now, next is dull father. Here dull father is alpha and intelligent son is b. So, alpha b is 92. Now, third one is intelligent father. Intelligent father is a. In the same manner, dull son is 
B. A beta is AD1 and moving forward del father is alpha and del son is beta here it comes to 579. So, these are the attributes or the combinations which are given to us. Now, we will place these particular attributes in our 9 square table which we have discussed just before. Now, as we have already find these attributes I have placed the same in the 9 square table as per the information given that is 248, 92, 81 and 579. Now, moving forward this in order to calculate B we are going to add these we are going to add these points 248 and 92 it is arrived as 340. Now, next is 81 and 579, it is 660 and now next is, now in order to calculate this, we are going to subtract this from this, here it is 329 and here it is adding on this, it is amount to 671. Now, we are going to get these values by adding these two values as is 248.92 it is arrived at 340 by adding A beta and this. Now, as we have already discussed, I have placed these items in this particular 9 square table. In order to calculate the remaining frequencies or class frequencies, we have just to add these values in order to get B, these two values in order to get beta and these two values in order to get A and these two values in order to get alpha. Similarly, by adding 248 and 92 the value arrives 340, by adding 81 and 570 the value arrives 660 and accordingly by adding 248 and 81 the value arrives 329 and by adding this the value arrives 671. Now in order to get n we we'll can add horizontally or we can add vertically and it arrives as 1000. So, this is all about our 9 square table. If suppose this item is missing that is beta is missing, we can simply calculate beta by subtracting n from b that is 1000 from 340, we will get this amount that is 660. In the similar manner, if we want to calculate the amount is alpha beta, then we can subtract alpha from alpha b In similarly we will get alpha beta. So, in the similar manner, if we have some of the class frequencies given to us, we can calculate the remaining class frequencies easily as per this 9 square table. Now, that is all for today. For more informative video, do not forget to like, subscribe and comment our YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you.